a ticket and had to give out free tickets to a show that I'm willing to pay for and all of my friends are willing to pay for but ain't nobody willing to pay for these shows because she won't simply tell her husband that his time is over, okay? I don't give a damn what nobody say. Jay-Z's reign is over and he needs to be doing bars and clubs instead of major arenas and he's proved that during his last tour when he had to cancel shows and blamed it on the construction crew saying that they couldn't put up jumbotron screens no it was because he couldn't sell them damn tickets and ended up having to cancel a few shows and refunding fans tickets because he didn't want to be embarrassed on a stage and have to soak in and let the world see that he can't do shit that he used to do because he's refusing to evolve into an old man into a granddad now when i saw these photos of jay-z and beyonce that circulating the internet and i don't appreciate but first of all before i explain these photos i don't appreciate y'all putting out these photos okay for those of y'all that pay money to go and see a concert enjoy the concert everything don't need to be on social media but i appreciate you putting out the photos just so i can reiterate to y'all that some things in life should only be for you and not everybody else because if everybody else was supposed to be there they would have paid for tickets like y'all and they would have been there but they didn't okay and so this is one of the reasons why Beyonce and Jay-Z can't sell no damn tickets is because y'all are giving us a free damn show. So if I can see it on Instagram and on YouTube, what makes you think I'm about to pay them anywhere from $342 all the way up to $1,800 to see a show? And it's not just any show, it's a show that Beyonce did at Coachella, okay? Thank you for the pictures. And it's also a show that her and Jay-Z both did last year during his 411 tour and her Lemonade Tour and their first On The Run World Tour 1, okay? Because this is On The World War 2. Did I? Damn, I'm getting tongue tied. On The Run World World Tour 2, okay? That came out right. That ain't had nothing to do with the wine. Mm -hmm. It's just confusing as hell. Now, now when I saw these stinking looking ass photos of Beyonce and Jay-Z, he had, he made the whole photo look stink, okay? He looked like he could smell every damn thing too. I said, now what in the Kim Kardashian ass don't match her thighs, lips that don't open, and Kanye Lipo is going on here in these photos, okay? Jay-Z look like he probably gonna have some Lipo necks posing for photos like this in order to make y'all feel like they are offering y'all some exclusivity at these concerts to justify why they ain't made on new music and y'all gonna hear the same shit that y'all done heard at previous concerts, okay? Because they performed 40 of their hits, okay? And this was a stage photo shoot. Don't think that these were in the moment photos. Look at the way Jay-Z looking at the camera. These were stage photos, the same photos taken in Jamaica. When we spotted them in Jamaica, this is what they were doing, building commentary for their concerts and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna look at no damn pictures. I wanna hear your ass sing. And here's Jay-Z talk about his infidelities in between sets while Beyonce go back and change. Now, if she would've brought him on the tour to talk about him cheating while she in the back changing it, I think they would've had one up on this concert and wouldn't be giving out free tickets and letting folks know on Twitter where to get them from. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> She need to let his ass go. Why he looking at the camera and she looking down? That's supposed to be an in the moment photo, but he done messed it up because he trying to make it all about him. Don't nobody want to look at him like that. If Jay-Z ain't got no hot music, we don't want it. You know what I'm saying? We've never wanted Jay-Z unless he had hot music. And the fact that he ain't got no hot music and all he's been doing lately is educating us on the Jews' way of life and infidelity, something he knows very well. He really need to be teaching relationship seminars because that's all he's been doing lately. Beyonce would be selling tickets it's if she just simply told her husband who's been listening to Dick Gregory on YouTube and that's the reason why he hasn't cut his hair because Dick Gregory says the reason we're not supposed to cut our hair is because it grows back immediately and so Jay-Z said you know what I got enough money now I ain't got to kiss nobody's ass especially these white folks so I can grow my damn hair because I can but he don't even realize his fans look at him different they look at him as the grandpappy that he is to his kids <laughs> I got that cough in Amsterdam and I ain't gonna tell you why. <laughs> I know y'all hear I'm sorry, I don't wanna see her husband who's refusing to cut his hair because he listened to Dick Gregory on YouTube say that we not supposed to cut our hair because it immediately grows back. It goes against God. That's what Dick Gregory said. Now, when I saw the photos of Beyonce and Jay-Z stoop to their constituents levels, you know, Kim and Kanye, I said, you know what? This is another reason why they ain't selling no tickets and they're having their security guards go out into the park
parking lot giving out free tickets so that they both don't look like they can't sell out these big arenas and then these big arenas won't book them because they're not gonna be able to pay for the stadium. That shit looks bad when you can't book a stadium as an artist. It says a lot. It says that it's time for you to do casino and bars and clubs, okay? And hell, Jazz Day at the park. Atlanta do a lot of them. Got a lot of R&B artists out there doing Jazz Day on the park. I said, that ain't no damn jazz. It's R&B. But they gotta get their money. Hey, I'm not knocking the hustle. That's just the reality of this game. But the reality of this game here is that Beyonce won't just simply tell her husband that he ain't got it no more. It don't matter whether we're together or whether we're separate. If he can't sell out shows on his own tour, there's no way the two of them are gonna be able to sell out shows together performing songs that he we hated on his 411 album and songs that we've seen him perform during previous concerts on YouTube, Netflix, and on Instagram and Facebook. Because they trying to get one over on us. And I'm sorry, I'm not here for it. Cat Williams did it to me this year. Yeah, he's on tour right now doing the same comedy tour that he did last year that I bought $300 tickets for and ended up buying $300 tickets for the same show that he just renamed from the Great American Tour to something else and did the same jokes and even told them jokes on Netflix after he did the tour last year. He sold the jokes to Netflix and then went on the same tour and renamed it and told the same jokes. And I got pissed off and this is the reason why next year his shows ain't gonna sell out either. And I guarantee you we're gonna be reading about that. Mm-hmm. Now, if Beyonce don't get a hold of this shit real quick and let Jay-Z's ass go, okay? Had that hard conversation that a lot of women are afraid to have when they're bigger than their husbands and they make more money than their husbands. They gotta have a hard conversation to let them know that he just ain't got it no more and it doesn't make him less than a man. It's just his time to evolve into something else, okay? And Jay-Z's an excellent businessman, but I see that she think like a lot of women who are afraid to tell their men the truth because he may go off and screw somebody else and look at him as somebody they need when they, she don't really need his ass. They're putting this together like they need each other, but she don't need him at all. And if she don't get rid of his ass on this tour and on this music thing and just separate and just say Beyonce, she gonna be playing casinos like Mariah Carey mm -hmm. and performing on New Year's Eve. All right, you know them performances right there. Now, <laughs> now I gotta go. <laughs> Y'all hear my cough? Y'all, I was smoking so much in Amsterdam. But listen, before I go, okay? Before I tell you what I'm drinking, and I hope y'all are setting y'all alarm clocks for fuckery Friday, okay? It's gonna be between 6 and 8 p.m. this Friday. Get your wine, put your kids out, get your fuck on this fuckery Friday, okay? Now, before I go, all right? For those of y'all, I get so many questions and emails about wine. And this is a great company that I'm affiliated with. It's called The Tasting Room. If you want to expand your wine palette, okay, if you want to drink wines that you normally wouldn't order or buy at the grocery store or at a restaurant, okay, I highly recommend that you let the tasting room evolve your, your tasting palette so that you won't go out and waste your money, okay? I got a little bit of money to waste. If you want to expand your tasting palette, all for $6.95, this wine kit of six different wines curated from all over the world based on your own flavor profile, okay? You go to this website that I'm gonna provide the link to below this video in the description box as well as in the comments, okay? It's gonna ask you three questions, whether you like berries or fruit, how you like your coffee, and whether you like dark chocolate, chocolate and no chocolate at all. And from that, it's gonna curate six different bottles of wine that you probably normally wouldn't have tried on any given day, all for $6.95 for a limited time span, okay? It's called a tasting room, and the link will be below. I highly recommend this if you're trying to expand on some shit, okay? We should always be trying to evolve in life, y'all. Mm-hmm. Now, before I go, Okay, I am drinking. All right, I was drinking. It's got me tough right now. Mm -hmm. First, y'all like my wine glass? Shout out to Bully Music Gang for this wonderful wine glass. Got my damn face. I just ain't got my mohawk today. Shout out to Bully Gang Music. Now, I am drinking a specialty that I got in Spain. Okay, Spain. Okay, it's called the Castillo de Gredos. All right, this is a vino blanco, which means quality dry white wine, okay? And dry white wines typically 
complement, you know, lighter foods like white foods, like salads, alfredo, seafood, especially saltier foods. I love to drink dry white wines with saltier foods because I drink more and I tend to flush the salt out of my system with this wine, okay? And I want to drink more water as well. Mm -hmm. And you get light aromas of citrus and lime and some pineapple in this. And I'm going to be honest with you, I know that I just made it sound really good, but I honestly got this on my vacation in Spain and unfortunately you can't get it here and I'm so sorry but it is amazing though but I will leave the link below just in case this company decides to ship out okay but this is just a bonus that I brought back from Spain while I was on vacation getting all dried out okay I ain't got no more cum left in me okay shout out to my husband for that shit alright thank you all so much for watching I miss y'all if you like this video subscribe you can also find me on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Snapchat Snapchat at Unwind with Tasha K. If you have questions about the products that I use, the skin products, the makeup, the lipsticks, things like that, the clothes that I wear, everything will be linked in the description box below as well as in the comments so that you can purchase if you want, if you like the shit. And also, if you want to advertise on my channel, okay, please feel free to send me an email via unwindwithtashak at gmail.com and we'll be sure to get right back with you to discuss your advertising needs. And hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe anyway just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I'm gonna really give a damn anyway. Now I gotta go for now. Bye!